We are live with the Golden Heart Cup. Guys, this is the single elimination tournament. This is round of 32. We have Tri Gaming versus X Team Esports. These two teams will be facing each other in one week in the Helsinki, where they will be playing on the stage. Incredible. And we are kicking off here with the first attack from Tri Gaming. Kronos is in. And we will be using a uh, Queen Charge Lalo, but I also see... No, hold on. What strategy is this? Because we are bringing one golem and we have five baby dragons. This is not even Lalo. It has only looms. All right. We are going like creative hit here. This is very interesting. So he opened the wall where is the enemy queen. So we took care of the enemy queen. Also, that scatter shot went down pretty quickly. Now we have the Ice Golem, King, Warden, Royal Champion, and also the Log Launcher. Pushing from the bottom side, you can see that Log Launcher will be hitting this Inferno Queen pulling the CC. Right now we have three Ice Golem coming out. Using another Baby Dragon, just kind of funneling for the queen. This strategy probably will be all about to, that our heroes need to clear the beds. It is interesting that we have the golem right now stuck on that mortal, tanking for that ground expo. Poor golem will be there for a while. Wooden ability being used right now. We need to take care of the mortal. RC even with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Now the uh, log launcher pop. We didn't open the wall. The multi inferno staying up, and that's sad because the healers are in the range, and yet he's not even going for it. Maybe real champion can do it. He's freezing. Can the RC have enough health to do this? No, the multi staying up. Wow, she needed one more hit. Now we are freezing the second multi inferno again, trying to protect the healers. We have one minute left. He's using the raid spell on the yeti. Yeti mines. Go go go! Uh, snipe his infernos. We need one more hit on that bottom one. Look at that OP Yeti Mines and Kronos hitting the three star. I don't even really know how to call this strategy, but it was totally awesome. So nicely done. Guys, post in the chat what kind of name we, we can call this. Like, he brought six baby dragons. He had the golem. We have the queen charge, some of the yetis, log launcher. How would you call this, you know? But guys, we have XBB in. And he is bringing 24 Valks, okay? We are back with the Valks action. We are also bringing some Zap spells. Let's see. So, starting first with the Zap spells to taking care of that single ink panel behind the Town Hall. And of course, we also activated the Town Hall here. So that Flame Flinger will go for it. But before he will... He needs to still clear some of the defenses front of the town hall. But we have the plan for the town hall. And we'll see what we are doing next. Yeah, I am excited. 24 vaults. Let's see how long they're gonna survive. We have the golem, alright? So the golem will try to tank. We are bringing three super wall breakers. Right, we are spending some time just waiting for the town hall, I guess. I hope we can, like, only what I'm scared is the time right now, you know, because we are very patient here. Alright, so we are finding a uh, Tesla farm and the Skellies, but the Valks, you know, like, what is the best for the Skellies? Of course, the Valks, so the Valks can uh, deal with them very easily. You can see some of the Skellies pull one group of the Valks outside, like, from the main group. I thought they can go for the multi infant but the CC kill them so, so quickly. Like, where are the Valks? They are, like, disappearing so fast. We have the Queen walking on the top side, another uh, bunch of Valks there, Super Wallbreaker trying to open the compartment but we didn't get that multi inferno here we are raging again we took care of the enemy king now the royal champion will go for that multi inferno uh, flame flinger took down the town hall now queen is dealing with the lava pups i seriously don't see the valves that is so i see valves only outside of the base so these heroes they need to do a lot of work here rc will be moving towards the multi inferno we are freezing there because we have enemy uh warden there expo grand expo on the rc Poor RC. King is uh, gone, so we have 55 seconds. We've done now. Valks from the Flame Finger. RC coming with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. 
He's freezing again because there is enemy royal champion, but the queen trying to help. So only the dangerous compartment is right now that ground expo uh, beef the scatter. I think so we will uh, came here short guys. Uh, queen is outside of the range. I don't think so that expo can hit her. That's good, but the Valks so far are tanking here. When she breaks the wall, she will be forced to use the ability to actually is hitting poor Unicorn. Queen going first for the storages before she will go for the scatter shot. Very close hit. I think so if uh, Valks stay alive a little bit longer. This one is 3 star all day, you know. But it feels like we lost a big group of the Valks at the start. So very nice try. Again, big respect to XBB because he's using the strategy. You know, Valks, we don't know. We know they are not the best, not the strongest one. But he is still amazing. So very nice try from doing? XBB. <laughs> and it is 90 All right. Mr. Fluxy is in. Radel uh, Lalic, thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you. Let me spam some emotes for you in the chat. Thank you very much. And we have Fluxy in. Fluxy coming in here with the air strategy. So we're coming with the uh, Lalo. Starting first with the heroes. Just using the skeleton spell to distract these uh, defenses around. We were using a bunch of super wall breakers opening the wall for the king. We need that king to take care of the enemy royal champion so his RC is uh, safe. Queen already with the ability Tam Hole went down so no issue there. And it's interesting that we are starting with the slammer from the 9 o'clock corner. We are pulling the CC so the, uh, right now the royal champion will be stuck on the lava. You can see there is the single inferno. RC standing outside but now she moves and she is in the range of the single inferno. With the poison we can take care of the lava pups but that's mean. We need to go uh, with the RC shield and sadly royal champion wasn't able to survive much much longer. We still have some of the enemy lava pups chasing the slammer and a bunch of loons using the wooden ability on the bottom side. We clear like 59% of the base, still plenty of spells here. Ice lava is gonna die, gonna freeze, that scatter shot with the air defense so that's work. But you can see the other loons being pushed on the bottom side here. We still have that single inferno. Oh, the single infant are actually killing some of his cleanup. There is the enemy queen alive as well. I didn't ever notice the queen. The queen can be issue here. Let's see. Luz going for the archer tower. All the way going uh, for the wizard tower now. And they will go all the way back for the boulder hut and also the single inferno but looks like the queen is not interesting in them she's kind of ignoring them now she's going for the poor dragon rider and it is defense wow fluxy very nice try and now the person gonna be very important don't forget that hit from xbb was 91 percent here we are on 88 i think so we can get much much more because the minions have still a few buildings uh, around you know there's no defenses around them so they're kind of safe here we are 92 i think so the dark uh, storage will go down as well so probably 93 will be the final one wow very nice try how many spectators are possible oh what is the is that 20 on each side yeah many people are streaming that so i have to be fast <laughs> so i don't miss yeah that rc i know it was it may be 94 no that minion will be no oh he was okay my bad 94 is still very good percent and what is important is higher percent than the attack uh from x team esports all right look at this how fast i am huh all right then then coming with the hoggies okay 22 hoggies but starting first with the blimp where we land now we are using the sneakies, if I uh, hear it correctly. Yes, yeah, sneakies are on the town hall. We should get town hall down, we did it. And we pull also the CC. So now we are pulling the uh, CC in the corner where we have the queen. Queen being just hit arch tower cannon. Her health went down a little bit. But now I think so we will be good, even using the wizard to help her. 
and poison is disappearing slowly but with the wizard help i think we can be fine he actually using the uh free spell he oh my god use rage oh we don't have rage i see what he's doing oh we don't have rage spell all right so uh, this right now we have no queen ability no raid spell only freeze and the invisibility spell to keep her alive this will be tough we use the zap spell for the inferno where was the town hall all right headhunter on the way for the king My king is funneling the bottom side. Now the hoggies are in. Let's go, hoggies. We're right, using the skeleton spell to distracting. Warning ability. Do we have headhunters there? Where are the headhunters? Oh, there. There we go. Headhunters on the enemy queen here. We will have to heal after that immediately because you can see the core of the base is deadly and I think so we lost the hoggies on the left side. We still have group of the hogs of front of the eagle. He's freezing that ground expo with the multi inferno. Queen is on that scatter shot on the left side. Royal champion boom 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 with the shield sniping the Teslas and the boom tower. Now we have only one invisibility spell. Still multi inferno doing so much damage. His hogs are disappearing. Headhunter as well. Decide to go with the invisibility spell on the queen decide to uh use was that good call can we if that acid uh, take care of the multi inferno no she went down i don't know if that queen can survive i'm just thinking was that good call to save the queen and no rc because the queen going down he likes why he likes going on the skellies oh no they are useless on the skellies 24 seconds come on king we have archer oh no this will be time no oh the king not even going for these buildings oh then then with the thumb fell here is he actually gonna hitting like a 99 or 98 it's 98 oh no very nice try from then then but we are hitting 98 percent here all right rick is in let's go we have rick coming in for try gaming try right now with the one triple and that high percent two star rick coming in here with the lalo oh cocoons actually we are finding two seeking air mines all right so funneling for the queen trying to get her for the town hall now we open the wall for the king royal champion behind king ability use we want to take care of the enemy royal champion as fast as possible we are using the double poison and freezing the cc rockets balance still up but the royal champion is on them super minion staying nicely in the poison unicorn is healing the baby dragon okay rc is keep going king is tanking the single inferno now the single inferno the royal champion rc with the shield boom 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 using the invisibility spell how much more she can do i don't think so much don't think she can care oh air defense all right she got the air defense but that's it for her it's kind of feels i don't know this corner i still feel there is so much uh for the lalo but we just uh, use the hero so we have plenty spells uh to keep the loons alive so starting with the lalo here uh i have to say uh try but i noticed they really like to uh use uh ice lavas and you can see beautiful value of that uh ice lava for the air defense and the multi inferno now he's freezing that multi inferno in the uh middle compartment so that bottom side of the base totally disappeared wooden ability beautiful catching almost everything here all these loons with the slammer time is looking perfect we have one minute 10 seconds so we are also very fast here the slammer maybe gonna pop if we're gonna find the, like any air trap i think so he pop it on his own there's the archita which we weren't able to snipe it but in this stage this one is three star all day rick with the beautiful triple nicely done so the try gaming adding the second three star i know so it go fast there is 15 15 spectators i know <laughs> i'm trying 
That's why I am not reading the chat that much because I'm uh, keeping my eyes on the attacks, you know, so I'm not late with the pressing. Yeah, Rick OP. That was OP attack from him. So, we are going here with the Super Bowlers. Alright, okay, he has Flame Flinger on the bar. Whoa, 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 Warden. Okay, he lies on him. Alright, just use it that wooden wall here for the funnel. Uh, I think so we are checking traps with the hawk for the flame flinger. Yes, we do. Uh, do we need to take care of the expo? I think we do because when the flame flinger will be moving for the town hall. Yeah, right. We are spending some time. Oh no, the border decided to go first for the storage. He's seriously taking his sweet time until he will go for the expo. Finally, we are on the expo. Alright, so now we are pulling the warden with the queen. King is funneling the other side. Super Bowler is coming in. We have only one minute, 30 seconds left, guys. When we are entering the base, this attack has to be pretty quickly because we can look at the town fell. We have one Super Bowler going for the shopping. We are using that jump spell to connect the middle compartment here. Rage on them. We are still holding on the warden ability. As I say, he just used the warden ability, but doesn't look like the Super Bowlers are taking the jump. They're going around. And this is huge problem because the queen is in the range of the single inferno. And I don't know if she will go she's using the ability where she going we are swagging the jump spell not nothing taking the jump now queen is taking the jump but again single infant on her so please keep her alive don't let her die please something spell anything Yoy! oh my why we didn't use the freeze on that single infant we we'll let the queen die Okay, now what we're gonna do? We have the flame flinger hitting the town hall, baby dragon uh, hitting that seeking air mine. Some of the healers are following the uh, RC, not the seeking air mine, so one healer down. Oh, royal champion on the scatter shot. I hope so that flame flinger can take down the town hall. We have 20 seconds left. Boom, boom, boom. Still two single infernos is freezing that one. Uh, front of the royal champion, he will have to freeze one more time because the RC has no chance, not freezing again. Okay, now we have what? The rocket balloon and yetis. Six seconds left. Why we are not using that free spell? We are swagging the free spell. <laughs> yeah, got a little bit messy. I think so. We need it. I need. We needed a spotter. <gasps> we needed spotter. You know, to tell me. I don't know if it would make difference if we freeze that single inferno and keep the queen alive because there was another single inferno. But yeah, like he was trying to get the super bowlers inside and having the king clearing this side, but the, they went around. So very nice try, but try with the defense. Exorcist is in. Exorcist coming in here with the queen charge Lalo. Hi Spunk, welcome in. Of course they are playing, you know, they are having fun. They're not gonna show their uh, top top strategy. They will be facing each other in the wars, you know. They're hiding their cards, you know. They're having fun right now, you know. Like just slowly testing the water, but they're not gonna show what kind of strategy they're gonna bring in that match. So... Alright, so we took it already of the CC, that's nice. Do we have Headhunter for the King? Yes, we do. Now we have four Super Wallbreakers. I'm curious which way... The Queen decided to go to the right side, okay. 
I guess it doesn't matter if she's going left or right. Alright, just in case, Cocoloon. Wall is open. This wall is open for his uh, panel for that king. So the queen will go inside in the core and not going to the left or the right. Alright, so another super wall breaker on the way. Alright, let's see. How smart is this queen? She should go front of this expo. We have four expo on the queen. Freezing around the eagle and catching also to X bomb. Nice freeze there. Alright, now with the raid spell, even that super bull breaker should go in. So nicely done. Pushing this queen deeper here, guys. And starting with the Lalo. Royal Champion will be aiming for the scatter shot. Mingle of the Lalo, of course, is to clear around the town hall. Slammer coming there as well. Town hall isn't activated, but should got activated any second. Alright, Queen using the ability, still one Expo, Town Hall getting, uh, getting activated now, Warden finally catching up with the Warden ability, we should survive, we are hitting that Tornado Trap, that's a little bit bad, but we have the haste, so we can push these moves, go away, now they're going all the way back to the single Inferno, so some of them are taking the damage from the Poison, so we are losing a bunch of them, but RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping the scatter shot. we are losing the one healer, but it doesn't matter, Try Gaming is adding the another 3 stars, so very nice job from Exorcist, and yeah, it is the triple for them. <laughs> Hi, hello, baby, hello. Yeah, Queen Church OP. Yeah, there was 4 Xbo on her, I think so, even the Eagle Van. Like tanking and everything, so wow. But let's go. We have TT going in here. And we are bringing Valks as well. But we're going here with the Queen Charge. So we have 5 healers. And we have 13 Valks. Let's see. We saw XBB got very, very close with the 24 Valks. Let's see what TT can do. So starting with that Flame Flinger, using that Yeti to tank for the Mortal, but the Flame Flinger nicely clearing that Mortal. So we want to protect the Flame Flinger. Yeti Mines, can you take care of that uh, hat? No, Yeti going away, but the uh, Flame Flinger staying in the perfect position, not being hit by anything. While we are doing that, you already can hear that sound of the uh, Queen Skin there, clearing that 9 o'clock corner here. Yeti Mines almost got that Archer Tower. Alright. Anyway, the Flame Flinger slowly will be moving for the Town Hall. Healers on the Queen. Sending the Cocoloon. Checking for any Seeking Air Mine. There was one. Now a bunch of the Loons going for the Mortal. And I think so they will go for the Archer Tower. He got split. But I don't think so we will have enough for the Eagle. We will... Will that work? Can we get the eagle this way? Oh, wow, we did it. Okay, nice. Now the queen dealing with the king. Valks are in. Oh, there are some of the spring traps. So rip the valks. I already saw some flying one. Plus, looks like they took the jump. And they kind of ignore the scatter shots of the king with the golem doing that. And these valks are like, no golem, I'm, we are not waiting for you. They went like kind of front of the golem and they took all the damage on them. So I think so we lost all of them. We still have king and uh, uh, warden alive. They are trying to now take care of that uh, single inferno king is right now stuck on the wall. We have still enemy CC, so the rocket balloons are still up there. Queen and the real champion clearing the top side. Uh, queen is on the scatter shot. Wall Wallbreaker took care of the town hall. Sadly, that golem not really tanking that ground expo, only that enemy RC is on it. Mm, 55 seconds, RC with the shell. Boom, boom, boom. Sniping the archer tower. We are going for the wizard tower. Yet it's from the flame flinger coming out. We are freezing that expo. That's a nice freeze. Now, I think so we can get it. Actually, we're gonna hit the three star guys. A beef the vault. So, very nice job from uh, TT. He has 38 seconds, enough time to finish it. And that's me in X Team Esport adding the three star. Nicely done. Alright guys, Nebras is in. This is the final attack for Tri Gaming. Nebras coming in here with the E-Dragons. This is not the first time I'm seeing him using the E-Dragon strategy. This is what we are also practicing because you, we saw many times uh, the war being also decided by the time. So it is really good to have one attacker which can 
uh, change the strategy the last minute, you know, and go with the e-dragons and kind of push the time here. Alright, so starting first with few e-dragons just paneling the bottom side, we have the queen on the other one, both the raid spell and the warden ability. We actually have group of the loons on the scatter shot. not sure if that's gonna be enough, I think so with the now dragons flying there it is. We are freezing around that uh, sweeper here, so that means we will try to take down the town hall with the e-dragons, we actually got them in, but now they are hitting the tornado trap, also there was the red bomb. But with that free spell, the town hall should go down. Come on, here we go, nicely done. Now that eagle is almost gone, we have the king coming in here. We'll see how soon the royal champion, because looks like... Ooh, why we are lagging? Here we go. Ooh, we will be using the blimp, I totally forgot. Wow, <laughs> how many air traps was there? Wow, there was a bunch of bombs. Queen is on the a multi inferno and a royal champion now stepping in. Time is still looking pretty good. We are using our last raid spell. That E Dragon hitting bunch of the air bombs, but before he died, he took down the air defense. Right now, we are down to the heroes. King with the ability clearing buildings outside of the base, he kind of pushing the royal champion go towards the scatter shot. If there are any skellies, we have the poison exactly to slow down the skellies. RC, no traps there, so RC is fine. RC still have shield, boom, 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 and it is to restart from Nebra. So that's mean. Try gaming, finishing here, guys, with the 14 star. All right, XTM is for with the final attack, and we also going here with the E Dragons. GS is uh, pretty good in the base building, but I agree with that. I think so. The base building will be so so important, but because you somehow has to stop. You can see like these teams have no problem to hitting 14 stars, you know. And I think so that is kind of what you have to do. I, if you want to like kind of uh, want to success there, you have to hit like 14 stars minimum, like what you're gonna be aiming for. And somehow get that one defense, you know, or two. All right, but really, wow, <laughs> this is so fast. I'm sorry that I'm not talking about this hit, but look how fast we clear 60% of the base. Still have four E Dragons. He just deployed the lock launcher right now, okay? The hero's gonna finish the town hall. Like this E Dragon smash it. The lock launcher, are we hitting that single inferno? I think we do. No, we don't. Sadly, we don't. The queen went outside with the king. Uh, imagine if we hit that single inferno, but the Yeti or Yeti mines definitely will do. Now the queen, king, everything should go in and I think we can actually swag the royal champion. Yetis are hitting the tornado trap, they are down, but now we need to take down the town hall. Wow, that was close, Yeti mines. With that tornado trap, almost had a town hall. Okay, so Ars is stepping in. We have the invisibility spell for her, so using the invisibility spell uh, right now. I see with the shield, boom, boom, boom. Suddenly she's crossing the poison and she's in the range of the enemy warden, so she's going down here. But we have the queen with the ability, so it will be still three star. I have to say, dragon seriously destroyed the base. I think so if the log launcher was on that single inferno, it would be much, much easier. It was good tornado trap slowing down this uh, uh, yetis, but. It was still awesome hit, so that's me and XT Miss for adding another 3 star, but their final score is 12 star. So, congratulations! Try gaming, winning! against the X Team Esports 14 to 12. GG to X Team Esports, especially we saw some OP Valks hit from them. And yeah, Try Gaming will be advancing to the round of 16. X Team Esports is out. Have I said this one was single elimination match? This one was Golden Hard Cap and the price pool is $500.